question? Yes. Kind of a naive question, but who evaluates if you have, say, five projects in, in this area that you want to work on? Who evaluates, or how do you evaluate which ones to do? So there's a few things that go into that prioritization process. Um, there's a system that a city engineer will use called Whistler. It's kind of done by University of Wisconsin. It's based on the pays or ratings and dollars that you have in your budget. They'll spit out a prioritized list of what you should work on based off of traffic counts, um, your, your budget numbers, the streets themselves, and a few other things. We've tried to reverse engineer it a little bit to try and figure out what that priority process looks like. So there's that information that we uh, use. There's also information, you know, like I said, working with the water and sewer uh, teams to say, are you guys going to be working on 18th Avenue, or do you have a need to fill that within the next year? Then great, we may move, we may move up a project so that we're not having tearing up the street twice, and we're, we're sharing those dollars across the. Uh, is it kind of a group that sits down, or just how do you do that? I would say I wouldn't say it's a group per se. It's it's basically more the engineering team and the and the, so and the, the water and um, sewer team coming together. They've got their prioritized list. Um, we take a look at it at the transportation committee. We don't really get down to micromanaging down to which streets are, are getting done, but we will provide our advice in terms of feedback from, from the uh, public as well. So that's kind of how they do it. It's, it's not really a hard and fast rule about how they do it. When it comes down to you know dollars, maybe we can get a grant for this one, we can't get a grant for this one based off of what the roads are like. So. Really quick, Rich, just let's say all of them come back no, a majority no. Can you, as a council, take it upon yourself to say, you know what, we know everybody said no, but we are going to implement a $20 wheel tax. Can you, as a council, just take the, because this is advisory only anyway? The answer to that is yes. Um, I can't speak for the rest of the council, and I'm, at this point, I haven't really made up my mind on the wheel tax, however, you know, I can't speak to what the rest of the council would do. We do have the opportunity to do that, yes. Um, but right now, we're just looking for the information. That's all we're looking for. Anything else? All right, well, this is the second stop for the Rich Road Show on referendums. I was on the radio this morning uh, here today. Um, as I mentioned on the radio, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Um, phone number and, and email address are both on the city website. Um, so just look for me on the District 5 uh, Council. Um, and uh, if you have any questions, I'll be around here. So.